The Zach's Rank, Value, Momentum, Growth and Income all factor into Zach's Rank Buys. Well, there is growth in income in dining out, or at least in a company that specializes in dining out. And our growth and income strategist, Todd Bunton, is here to tell us more. The name of the company is Dine Equity. That's right. They specialize in restaurants, yeah. which leads to people dining out, right? That, that's exactly right. So they're actually one of the largest full-service restaurant companies in the world. Uh, they, they own the IHOP and Applebee's brands. I see. And they franchise over 99% of these. So they have 3,600 locations all across the globe, mostly mostly in North America. Mm -hmm. But but the restaurant industry has actually been doing really well lately. And one of the reasons for that is lower gas prices. So people have more disposable income to eat out. Go eat out, right. And that's been reflected in, in their results. So the company delivered a very solid second quarter results on July 29th. Uh, earnings per share jumped 30, 32% year over year, mm -hmm. came in ahead of the Zach's consensus estimate, so a beat on the bottom line, beat on the top line too. Uh, re revenue was up 7% year over year, and that was driven by a 6.2% increase in same store sales at their IHOP locations. Uh, that's actually the strongest growth in same store sales for that brand in over a decade, and that was the ninth consecutive quarter of positive same store sales. Uh, the Applebee's brand wasn't as strong. Same store sales were up 1%, but still in the in the plus column. So so good same store sales here, uh, good earnings growth, and management actually reiterated its full year earnings guidance for the year, but that didn't stop analysts from raising their estimates higher after the report, sending it to a Zach's rank of two, which is a buy rating. You can see with me here, consensus estimates moved up for both 2015 and 2016, and analysts were unanimous in those increases. So, uh, so good Good earnings momentum here to yeah. go along with the, with the good growth. Um, based on current consensus estimates, analysts are looking at about 24% earnings growth this year and 6% growth next year. Cool. Didn't they do some trimming in that Applebee's division not long ago? Yeah, they close some restaurants. Uh, yeah, and and like I said, most of them are franchised out, but uh, that that hasn't really been growing at all. It hasn't been trimming down too much lately, though. So it's just kind of been steady. Uh, okay. But they are expected to open, uh, you know, 20 to 30. I think. Uh, new restaurants, oh. net new restaurants this year, right. um, at least franchise out, and I want to say 40 to 50 on the IHOP side. So still a little bit of store growth, yeah. but, but the big driver will be same store sales growth and then that solid earnings growth from operating leverage. Like I said, because they franchise most of these restaurants out, mm -hmm. uh, they, they have very good profit margins because they don't have to worry about all, all of the the day-to-day -day costs of, of actually running the restaurant. The, they leave that to the franchisees. Right. Um, well, they must have good margins because they pay a good dividend. That's exactly right. So <laughs> the company generates very good free cash flow, low capital expenditures, as you can imagine, and they pay a dividend that yields 3.4%, which yeah. is one of the best in the restaurant space. I brought with me here uh, some comparisons. Uh, Eat, that's uh, Brinker International. Mm -hmm. uh, they own the Maggiano's and Chili's brands. Uh, you have Cracker Barrel up here, uh, Denny's. You can see Dynequity has the best dividend in the space and also one of the best multiples uh, in, in terms of uh, valuation. The, the price to forward EPS is at 17 times. That's actually a, a discount to the industry median of 25 times. So a little bit of value. I wouldn't say there's screaming value here. Um, restaurant stocks in general have been bid up because people are expecting, like I said, strong sales growth because of that oil dividend that, that Americans are getting. But all in all, it's a company that offers good growth, good momentum at a reasonable price and has very good earnings momentum. So it could be a good total return name throughout the second half of 2015. All right, good to see a company doing well. Do you own them? I do not. All right, check out more stocks, stock picking strategies, stock commentary on our website, zax.com. You can link to it all right off the homepage, including some articles that Todd himself writes on companies that are on his radar. And if you're watching these videos that we do on YouTube's platform, don't forget, when you're there, you can subscribe to them and even comment on them, so you might want to look into that. With Todd, I'm Terry Ruffalo.